Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, the creator and founder of the Comeback, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic, Father's Day. It is, shit, I don't even know what today is because I've been stuck out here in California, but I know this. I know it's Father's Day, okay? I don't know what, it's It's Sunday. Um, I'm sure I can do some work on this, maybe the 15th and 16th of the, uh, the month, 2019, but that's irrelevant. This post is about one simple thing. Showing to be a man that you know that you can be, the one that you're destined to be, the one that your kids deserve. We're not even going to talk about your wife today. We're going to talk just about the kids. I'm going to take you back to 2015 Father's Day. I'm in rehab. I've been in for two, three weeks. My dad was supposed to come see me. He didn't come see me. I wanted him. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. He blew me off just like he had hundreds and hundreds of times in my life. Not a big deal. Just the way he is. Not mad at him. Still love him. It's his deal. Right? Not my, not my fault. My brother, though, who's always been there for me and supported me, was going to grab my son. Luckily, at this time, you know, I went into, I went into rehab. My son's mother hated me. Right? As a matter of fact, um, she, she, she absolutely hated me. But for some reason, you know, she still had enough love for for phoenix for our son that she would send him with my brother to come see me so i'm standing there waiting you know like <laughs> waiting like a dog to be let out of a pen having to get my brother check in and he can't see these people they're getting him on the inside in the grassy area so i'm standing there waiting i'm, I'm, I'm nervous I'm, I'm anxious i hadn't seen my son sober since he was a baby I hadn't seen my brother face to face with this pain and despair that I've been going through. On top of it, he brought my nephew, which is also my, my godchild. And they're both little, four or five years old, little kids. Don't really have a fucking clue what's going on. But they're coming to see dad and Uncle Mark at the hospital. They finally let him out. All the families, all the people out in this grassy area. My brother, they're standing there. They see me walking up. As I'm walking towards him, my nephew Kane, so a little more, a little more outgoing than, a uh, little more outgoing than my son, comes running up, jumps, gives me a hug. Oh, come Mark, yeah, you know, happy to see me. Doesn't think none the wiser. My brother, a little standoffish, probably going to see what I'm up to, what I look like, things like that. And behind him is my son, and he's standing there. He doesn't know what the fuck to do. Should he run towards dad? Should he cry? What's going on? Why's dad not been home? I remember he hadn't seen me because even before I went into rehab, I was fucked up. I was drinking. I was partying. I was not being the father that, that kid deserved. So he's standing there. I get down on my knee. I'm like, Come here, buddy. Come here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then all of a sudden, as I'm popping back up, he makes a break for it. He runs. He jumps into my arms. He jumps into my arms and I hug him and I hold him tight. about 85, 90 degrees. And all of a sudden I hear, why can't you come home, daddy? Why can't you come home, daddy? And I can feel his, feel his tears running down my back of my neck, just like mine are running down my face right now. I said, I promise, buddy, I will. I'm coming home. I'm going to get better. I'm going to feel better. And he's hugging me and clinging to me. He's so tight. And I wish, and I wish at that fucking moment <laughs> that I could have stopped drinking. I wish that I could have stopped doing drugs. Here I am inside of a facility with my creation, with the peace of my legacy standing before me, and I cannot fucking quit. Sure, I didn't drink inside of rehab. I didn't go through that. I went on through the next whatever, two, three weeks that it was. And when I get out, I fucking relapse in six hours. That's a whole nother podcast for another day. Here's the lesson of this. I could go on and on and on and talk to you guys about different stories, things that I put them through. Visions burned in my fucking head. But me letting them down, not being the dad that I can be. A fucking disappointment and disgrace to humanity. A man now that if I saw treating their kids, their families the way that I would, that I did, I would grab them, fucking rip them by the hair and shake them and say, what the fuck are you doing? Just like I want to do right now at your core of who you are. 
Your kids didn't ask to be born. You stuck your penis inside of a vagina. You had a kid. Many of you guys listening to this are actually blaming your kids sometimes for your drinking. Many of you guys, the stress from the family, I got to go to soccer practice. I got this. My wife wants too much money. I don't have time for the kids. I got too many kids. Man the fuck up. Because that's a lie. The truth you're trying to tell yourself is that you just want to fucking drink. You just want to sedate. You just want to live behind a bottle because you're scared of what's going on inside of you because you won't face it. And then you want to blame it on the drink. Oh, I got a drinking problem. Oh, I can't just quit. Oh, I got too much stress. Fuck off. That's going to be you just fucking talk shit about me and get off here. I don't even give a fuck. This is the point. Being a dad is difficult. I get it. Especially for some of us that didn't have the best role models. You can look at it pretty fucking easily. You can either be what you didn't have, be stronger, lead, guide, love, care, show, respect, or you could double down and make it worse. You may be listening to this and not even have a drinky problem. I don't give a fuck about the drinky today. What I give a fuck about is this. You step up today. You step up and be the man that you need to be. And how do you do that? You tear down the old you. The old you needs to die today. And once it dies, the rebirth starts. And you need a foundation. And I'll give you the secret to my success right here. Faith, finances, family, fitness, future, freedom, and foundation. That's another show as well. Let's flip it on a lighter side. It is Father's Day. There's dads out there that are doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. I've got a group of hundreds and hundreds of men that are fucking doing amazing. They came in the same shitty experiences that you may be in, or maybe you're listening to one of those men. I want to tell you guys that I fucking love you, and I'm proud of you. I may not kill it in every single area of my life, every single day, but every day I get up and I be the best fucking dad that I know I can be. It's an honor and it's a privilege to lead these three kids that I have in my life right now, to show my son what a man can actually do when he puts his mind to it, to show these girls what a dude should be like when I hold the door for their mother, when I take them on dates themselves. Amidst the chaos and the, the world that's going on, I want to stand out, rise above the noise, just like you guys do, and show them. I'm proud of each and every one of you for even listening to this podcast, for wanting to fucking do something about it, for being the men that you want to be, and for taking the action steps can, can, that you need here. I'm searching for words because I'm a little choked up on this one. I want you guys to go love your hug once today. <laughs> I want you to go love, hug your loved ones. Grab the kids. Father's Day isn't about you doing anything you want. It isn't about you watching sports or drinking beer or fucking mowing the lawn. Child's Day is about fucking, or Father's Day is about showing these kids how much you fucking love them. It's an opportunity to win. You can either seize it, win it, or you can fuck it off and sedate it. The choice is ultimately going to be yours. I want to wish each and every single one of you guys a happy Father's Day. If you like more, if you're struggling with this, if you, uh, maybe you're, maybe you're in a spot where you're like, fuck, I, I, that spoke to me, Mark, I'm here. I don't know what to do. I want to invite you guys to, uh, to book a call with my team. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply myself, my team. Somebody will get on the phone with you. We will help you sort through the problem. I promise to you is this, I will guarantee you we're going to leave you better than I found you. Right. We, we do. We help you in some way, shape, or form. If we can't help you. We're going to steer you in the direction that we can. Um, but in any way, you're going to get some, you're going to get some love from you. You get some appreciation. The reason that my shit works, the reason that this comeback thing works is because I actually give a shit, give it a shit, give it a fuck about motherfuckers is hard. But we do it. So I want to wish each and every one of you guys a happy, amazing Father's Day. And I'll catch you on tomorrow's episode.